no use. We, we can't lose them this way. Oh, the inside of my stomach. Like that. I bet he's running out of gas. Good. to you. Having trouble with your engine? What'd you do, run out of gas? <laughs> What'd you bend your tailpipe? Oh, no, no, it was just one of my tires. Uh -huh. I thought, uh, uh, shucks. Okay, so I was trying to... Oh, rats. Look, this whole thing, I, I think we're making a very big mistake. I you absolutely know? agree. So? So I think we're just being a little silly running around sure, like this. Sure, we're, we're getting nowhere. Why, right, George, he's right. So why don't we do something sensible? Why don't we just discuss this thing and, and, and reason something out calmly. I'm with you. I'm with you. Fine, and we can come to some conclusion like intelligent people. Hey, yeah, let's do that. Uh, what he said. Yeah, yeah, well, that way nobody will have an advantage on one another, right? right. It's fair. Yeah. Right. We better get the cars off that curve. Yeah, let's, let's talk here in the road. Let's go over there. There's plenty of room. Okay. Yeah. Fine. See you over there. Oh, over All there. Right. right. Yeah. Yeah. Come over on, there. Benji. Yeah. Over there. The man said there was a certain amount of money buried down in this park. That's right. right. It was under a, under a big W. Say, what is a big W? We find out, we'll send you a wire. <laughs> now, it, it's only a possibility. Now, it's only a possibility that this man was telling the truth. And if it was the truth, then it is a fact that this place is almost 200 miles away. Now, I suggest that we quietly get into our cars and drive down there at a safe, sound speed, keeping each other in sight of each other. And then when we get down there, we dig up the money, providing that there is some money there. And when we, if we do find it, we share it amongst us in a simple manner. He's got a point. I think he's got something there. And I think we should go straight to the police. The police? Why the police? All right, she's with us. Now, what's with this fair shares for everybody? Look, ma'am, all I said was we arrived in four vehicles. I, I think we should split it up in four quarters. Four quarters? Quarters? What are you talking about, quarters? You mean you, you three each get a quarter and Benji and I have got to split a quarter? That's right, that's right. Hey, what are you trying to pull? Well, it seems fair enough to me. Why, naturally, it seemed fair enough to you. It just cheats us, that's so, all. $350,000 divided by four is, let's say, it's uh, 87,500 bucks. Sure, that's that's what it is. So the three of you would get 87,500 bucks and Benji and I would have to yeah, split Yeah, there was five of us down at the wreck. We should split it five ways. He's right, we should split it five ways. Well, I'm perfectly willing to discuss it in a five-way manner. Now, we can discuss it in a five-way manner, five shares. Uh, each share would be uh, 70,000... Uh, 70,000 bucks? Holy mackerel! Do you realize how many loads I'd have to haul from Modesta to Yuma to get that... You're overlooking one little thing. Yeah, we're overlooking one little thing. What little thing? Yeah, what little thing? We can all count, can't we? There were eight of us there. She's right, there were eight of us there. Well, speaking for my wife and myself, we'd be just as happy with... You'd be perfectly happy with two eights instead of a quarter? That's awfully big of you. Wait a minute, hold it, hold it. Let's just put it back the way it was before. Either one quarter for each car, including the van, or one fifth for each guy. Hey, one quarter or one fifth. Just because this old bag has to stick her... Foot. How dare you! We give shares to everybody and for everything. Now, there were eight... There were eight of us. Now, that's eight shares for that. Then there were four vehicles. Now, we give four shares for that. That's 12 shares already, right? Then there were five of us who went down to the wreck. Now, we give five shares for that. So that makes it 17, all right? Now, 17 shares, and then we add the same number of shares as there were people in each vehicle, right? That's three for your group, two for your group, and two for us, and one for you, right? Now, that adds up to 25 shares. Now, 25 into 350,000 is $14,000 per share. Now, for that, figuring out that, that, that would mean you would get three shares for being three people, one share for having the car, one share for going down and, and looking at the wreck, and three more shares for being three more people in the car, which would give you a total of eight shares, giving you uh, $112,000. And that should cover everything, including the emancipation of women. Oh, wait a minute. Let's see now. As I understand it, I got one share for being one person, one share for going down the hill, 
One share for the truck, and one share for being a person in the truck. But no matter how you figure it out, I still don't get as much as anybody else. Look, let me explain it once more. You see, they're their group. They, those three of them, they, they get 112,000, right? Those over there, them, they get 97,000. We, we, us, we get 84,000. And you, by yourself, you get $56,000 alone. And that's tax-free money. What do you mean, tax-free? Well, I mean, uh, if we go down the, to this park and we uh, uncover the money and we uh, have it, I mean, I'm sure he's not going to declare anything. I know, I know he's not going to declare anything. And I'm not going to, you know, declare... What are you talking about, declare it? Well, I mean, uh, it's, it's like uh, non-taxable income. It's like, uh, like, a, like a gift. But sure, if we find the money, we still have to report the taxes. Otherwise, it's like stealing from the government. Oh, brother, look, yo, can you explain it to him, please? Oh, me? Well, uh, don't you see, you see, if we find the money, there may not be any taxes to pay on it, just because we did find the money. But what he was trying to say is, Listen, everybody has to pay taxes. Even businessmen that rob and steal and cheat from people every day, even they have to pay taxes. I give up. Look, anybody got a better, fairer fair plan? Go there ahead and do There were eight of us there, so that simply means eight shares. Three for us, two for you. Ah, this is hopeless. We're going to get no place if we're going to continue listening to this old bag. Hey, what are you trying to do, lady? Are you trying to split us up so it becomes every man for himself? And every woman for himself? One more funny remark from you, Buster. Well, let's get out of oh, here. Oh, please, please, don't argue anymore. You heard everybody's... Look, we figured it 17 different ways. And every time we figured it, it was no good, because no matter how we figured it, Somebody didn't like the way we figured it. So now, there's only one way to figure it, and that is every man, including the old bag, for himself. So good luck and may the best man win. Right. Except you, lady. May you just drop dead. All right, all right. We all agree on that. Now, look, let's be sensible about this thing. There's money in this for all of us, right? There's enough for you. There's enough for you and for me. And for you, and there's enough for you. Observation now passing this checkpoint. Lead cars, Plymouth Station Wagon. Next, the Ford Van, the Volkswagen, and the Chrysler Imperial Convertible, all doing about 50. Yep, they're on their way. All traveling in the same direction? That's right, and according to my boys, they're all on reckless driving charges already. You know, none of those people must suspect for a minute that anybody is interested in them. Now, Sheriff, will you get on to Captain Hardesty and see how many helicopters he can let us have? Well, I'll see what we can do, and I'll call you back. Now, where have I always told you that the smiler hid the dough? I know, I know. Where? Uh, right there. That's right, yeah. Which means if these merrymakers decide to go for it, they'll go.